Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. Today I'm finally reviewing Rode. So I have their pocket blush and also their peptide lip tint. And also talking about the recently released Ariane Beauty Glossy Balms and sharing with you this makeup look. So if you want to know about Rode, and some other goodies then let's I went go. ahead and did one eye off a of camera to prep my eyelids. I went in with the Koki Double Time Full Time Concealer and then set that with the Hourglass Translucent Veil. I laid down some tape and then I went into my e.l.f. I Love You A Latte Quad. This shade is holding on for dear life. And then I took an IT Cosmetics Fluffy Eye Blender and went into this warm brown. And I'm blending onto the tape and being very messy with it and really just concentrating that color on the outer corner. Then I went in with two different eyeliners. So first I laid down a black eyeliner base and then on top of that I put the Moira Supernova Multi Chrome Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This is my favorite shade, Rhea. It's a really cool like blue to green to gold kind of shift. And then I took this brush from About Face. I don't know the name, but it's their like angled flat eyeliner brush. And these LA Girl Shockwave eyeliners do set down, so I'll wait at least 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go just straight over top. And that black is going to really make that green pop. Time for the reveal. Nice. I've been wearing lashes again and opting for these Kiss Bare Affair lashes. So when the glue starts looking a bit more translucent or slightly darker, that's when you know it's time to go. I like to place my lashes a bit off center towards the outer corner. Place my outer corner first and then my inner corner. I usually have to hold my inner corner down because it doesn't like to stick by itself. I'm going to spot conceal using my Rem Beauty Sweetener Concealer and I'm using an LBE7 from Lunar Beauty. This is the best little concealer slash detail brush. Then I take some of my powder, the very tiniest, tiniest little bit of powder, like I'm not even going to use all of that. And I just go over extremely lightly holding my brush at the very end so that I'm getting a very light amount of pressure because I don't want the powder to really interfere with the skin tint that we're going on top of it with. I'm back on the CoverGirl Essence. I just needed a darker shade because I'm a little bit more tan. So I was using medium 40, now I use medium tan 50. I always give it a good shake. And then in the palm of my hand, I do two pumps. And then with another finger, I'll really, really mush it and break down those pearls. And then I'll just start dabbing. I only use a foundation brush with this product because a sponge will soak up too much and this is already very, very light coverage. For concealer, I've been scraping through my physician's formula. You guys already know the drill. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes and start on my eyebrows. So I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I've never used this before. I mean, I have, but <laughs> not on camera. And I've been using it over the past two weeks. I did get the shade Espresso, which is slightly too light and warm, but I got the shade Espresso because in their brow tint pen, 
I get the shade Espresso and that one is like the perfect shade, but for some reason in the brow pencil, this same shade doesn't work 100% for me, but I still make it work. I just use like a very light amount. I'm not using any lights in today's video. This is just 100% natural lighting. Big difference between the brows, but I don't know if you can tell that it's just slightly warm compared to my natural brow shade. Going back to concealer using my deluxe crease brush. For bronzer, it's been between the Say Do Bronze or the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. I'm gonna go for Milk Makeup today because I already feel pretty glowy and this Say one is going to make it a little bit too much for me for what I want today. And this is my favorite bronzer brush, so much so the name has worn off, but this is from e.l.f. It's their Complexion Duo. It's a dupe for my favorite It Cosmetics number seven. Let's talk about this Road Pocket Blush. So I got the Coral Duo, which is the pocket blush in the shade Spicy Marg. So there is just a direct swatch and then I blended it out a little bit. This retails for $24 and I did comparisons to other Cream blushes that I personally use slash are really popular right now in terms of price. So this pocket blush is more expensive price per gram than the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Sticks or the R.E.M. Beauty Lip and Cheek Sticks, but it is way cheaper price per gram than the new House Labs Lip and Cheek Glowy Blush Balm Sticks. You do get 5 grams of product, which I think is very standard. Um, the Rem Beauty ones, for reference, come with a little over 7 grams, and the Milk Makeup ones, I believe, come with 6 grams. You can definitely get away with swiping it directly onto the cheek. However, my preferred method is I like to paint it onto my brush and then go onto the cheek, but I'll do both so you can see comparisons for application. So very pigmented as you could see, but it doesn't stick to the initial spot that I put it at and it is still extremely easy to diffuse. I just painted some onto my brush directly. Basically the same look. I don't really see any difference with applying those two different ways. I've worn this about five times and every single time I've worn them for at least eight hours, but they like to stick to the skin with their pigment. So they really are long wearing, which is something that I just wasn't expecting. I didn't really trust that claim just because they are so silky and so slippy when you touch them or when you first apply them. And it will look like this for a good eight hours. My only critique about this product, this has a lot of white in the pigment. So I don't see anyone darker than tan being able to use these blushes. And Gloria, she's a very famous TikToker, also on Instagram, she swatched these on her very deep, rich skin tone. These are the brand new Road blushes. I bought these three shades because I feel like these would be the three shades that would work on dark skin. First shade we're going in with is Juice Box. Let's just go directly on the face. Let's blend her out. 
This ash is bigger than me. Literally zooming in so you guys can see the sick work. And they were giving ashy, so that is my only critique. I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10. I'm knocking down half a point because of the critique that I just shared. But for me personally, this is a hit. I'm very happy that I finally tried these. And if you're looking for a pigmented but glowy blush that actually stays, I think you should try these out. I meant to do this step before blush, but I'm gonna add a little bit of my Champagne Pop highlighter. I also forgot to contour my nose, so just gonna add a little bit of the Sculpt Stick by Milk Makeup. Taking my puff and a healthy amount of powder, really working it in to my palm before I go on the under eye. And then I'll just take the excess on the chin, upper lip, and then just a little bit more on the forehead. And this is me just being extra, but I'm going to go into my Kosas Cloud Set, just a tiny little bit, and then go over top, really focusing right in that inner corner with my darkness shows through. Finishing the brows with my favorite brow gel, Rare Beauty Laminating Lifting Brow Gel. Setting my face with the Ulta Beauty Collection Dewy Glaze Setting Spray. This is the old packaging. It was just repackaged but not reformulated, so you can still get this. Off of camera, I applied a layer of my lash blowout to my upper lashes. I'm just gonna leave the lower lashes bare because I've been really liking having false lashes on top but nothing on the bottom. Something about it just makes me feel really cute and feels like my eyes are like super open. I don't know, I could just be making that up. But I also applied a little bit of inner corner highlight using my highlighter. Let's talk about these lip products. So lip liners that I've been exclusively wearing are either the Fenty Beauty ones, but also I've been getting back into Rare Beauty Wise. If you are medium or medium dark, this is the perfect everyday, truly neutral brown. I've already swatched these both in a video and also in a reel that I will link somewhere over here. So for today, I'm gonna go with Rare Beauty Wise. Here's a quick swatch. But before that, we gotta talk about the Rode Peptide Lip Tint and also the REM Beauty Essential Drip Glossy Balm. This lip tint retails for $18. They say it's a sheer but buildable color that melts onto the lips for a hint of tint and a rich glossy finish and it comes with 10 milliliters. I compared this to a couple other lip balms price per milliliter, so this one is more expensive price per milliliter than the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, way more expensive than the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. The Essential Drip Glossy Balm retails for $19, but comes with way, way less products. So out of all of those that I just mentioned, this is the most expensive. Definitely like this better than the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms. I spoke recently how I actually don't like those because I feel like they dry out my lips. I still say go for the Naturium ones if you want the most affordable but also highest quality lip balm. And they're also available at Ulta now, which is really nice. I prefer the formula of the Rode ones because they're thinner and they sink into the lips, whereas the Naturium ones feel thicker and they more so feel like they're just on top of your lips. They don't really sink in, which isn't a bad thing because they're still extremely hydrating but this one really melts into the lips and they are pretty sheer.
and I got the shade Guava Spritz. Buildable, I don't really know about that because I feel like you have to put on like a significant amount to get more color payoff. So this is the second layer. It's really not much of a difference between this and that initial layer that I put on. So I wouldn't say these are buildable and they don't smell like anything, which is kind of a letdown because I wish they smelled like the different fruits and flavors that they're supposed to smell like. But I do understand from wanting to appeal to like sensitive skin and everything. I do appreciate that these are fragrance free. By the way, so they do sell a kit with a pocket blush and then a corresponding lip tint and some of them are sold out but if you just buy the product separately instead of buying the set it costs the exact same which that is kind of unfortunate because most of the time when you get a set you are saving money and it is a little bit marked down i give these a 9 out of 10 i really have been enjoying my experience i've been hydrated all freaking day i actually don't touch up with this product at all whenever I'm wearing it because I simply don't need to. Now let's talk about the Glossy Balm. I actually don't like its counterpart, the Essential Drip Lip Oil that Aryan Beauty has. I do not like that product. I love the component, but the actual formula itself is super drying. But this is the complete opposite. I am in love with this product. It has been my go-to product. I've been wearing it more than the road and between this and the road, I'm picking this one because first of all, the scent is that classic R.E.M. Beauty lipstick scent. If you have her bullet lipsticks, both the regular and the skinny one, or if you've had the liquid lipsticks, it's that same very strong MAC lipstick vanilla kind of scent. It's it's so good and if you don't like fragrance then you probably won't like this or if you don't like smelling your lip products you're not gonna like this because you can still smell it as you're wearing it I personally I love that and this is definitely more pigmented than the road one but if you look at the swatches that Aryan Beauty has of this product they had to have swatched like so many freaking layers to get the pigmentation that you see because the swatches online make these seem more pigmented than they actually are. I have the shade Cherry Cola and this is one of the glossiest, shiniest glass lip products I've ever tried in my life and it is so hydrating. Like it really is like a liquefied lip balm. And here's a close up of the packaging. The applicator is very cool so I have some of that wise lip liner on if you like that cherry cola lip that's been very viral on TikTok, which that has been my favorite kind of lip to wear this whole year it's become my new favorite and these two together create the perfect cherry cola lip that concludes today's video. I would love to know if you've also tried the Rode blushes or the lip tints, the REM Beauty glossy balms. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want more tutorials, get ready with me as another makeup team, then like, comment, subscribe. I'm sending you guys so, so much love and light. And I will see you in the next one.